Instead of price appreciation, there is a new way to speculate. And today that's what we're going to talk about. Yield trading with Pendle Finance. Let's get straight to it. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how you can actually yield trade on Pendle, some of the benefits that come with it and why I think it's such an interesting thing. So I think we're just going to dive straight into it. Hope you guys have seen my thread on, hopefully you've seen my thread on Twitter, uh, where I basically talked about this. For those of you who are completely new to Pendle and have never used it before, first of all, I recommend going to the application and having a look yourself. And secondly, I recommend going and watching uh, this video over here. Uh, I did make it around four months ago, but the principles are exactly the same. Um, it's essentially a complete deep dive so that you know everything that you probably literally need to know uh, about Pendle. Um, yes, it is 30 minutes long, but if you 2x time speed it, you know, you should be able to get it done in 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes, hopefully you should be able to cover everything that you need to know about Pendle so you're ready uh, to get started with this. Um, so Pendle is an application that uh, essentially lets you either buy these principal tokens or these yield tokens. Essentially, you can uh, split these yield bearing assets into two separate tokens, the yield token and the, and the principal token, where the principal token is the kind of underlying asset itself without the yield. And the yield token is a, a token that represents the entire yield of that particular asset. And so when you go to Pendle, you'll be able to see a variety of different markets, including uh, stable coins, uh, but also uh, ETH uh, liquid staking uh, tokens, um, as well as a variety of other tokens as well and um, you know one of the more interesting ones for me are for example the 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 assets that are like SFRAX and SDI because they are kind of um, treasury yield assets if that kind of makes sense um, DAI from MakerDAO obviously backed by a variety of um, real world assets um, and SFRAX of course earning that um, UST bill yield uh, as well um, and so one of the things that you can actually do here is you can speculate not just on the price of these assets, but on the yield of these assets. Is the yield of these assets going to go up or down? Again, that's something that you can speculate on. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. So the first thing that you want to do is you first of all want to pick an asset. So for today's example, we're going to just choose uh, SFRAX. Um, uh, I'm sure many of you watching are familiar with FRAX or you've seen my videos where we've talked about FRAX a little bit here and there for sure. And so what we're going to do is we're going to basically look and we're going to see what the current APY is for SFRAX. So SFRAX is FRAX the stable coin that you can stake and earn this US Treasury yield. Now currently, if you go to FRAX Finance, uh, the yield is just around 5.4%, but the market on Pendle is currently uh, suggesting that the yield is around 5.1%. And so essentially what you can do is you can long the yield token uh, and essentially, if the yield token or if the yield that the market on Pendle is currently implying goes up to the yield that is currently there on Frax Finance, well, you'll make around 12% doing that. And, and so that's just one thing to just kind of uh, conceptualize yourself. Now, what you basically need to do is you need to decide if you think this implied APY is going to go up or down. And, and essentially, that's that's all you have to do. Do you think the yield is going to go up? If it does, then you just need to buy the yield token. And if you think the yield is going to go down and you want to short the yield, again, you can do that as well directly here by just buying the principal token itself. And so we can, I can show you kind of now how it works. Um, so this is what you need to do. Uh, you'll go to the market and you'll click swap and you'll be able to swap um, uh, the fra FRAX for the yield token. You can actually swap a variety of other assets as well. Uh, the back end of Pendle will kind of do everything for you, which is nice to see. Um, and uh, yeah, so let, let's just say, imagine we've just got one FRAX. The leverage that you can get from this is pretty incredible because you can see that you can now, um, you, you, you receive 56 of these uh, SFRAX yield tokens, which essentially gives you 56 times uh, the yield that you would probably be making. Uh, and so if you scroll down, they've got a nice APY prediction here, where, which essentially tells you like how much profit you'll make if the APY stays the same, if the APY goes up, if the APY goes down. So you can kind of get a good understanding of what's going on here, uh, which is nice to see. And also they've got these lovely charts, which also tell you the kind of difference in APY from what the market is implying. And of course the underlying APY as well, and kind of how the price of this asset changes as well over time. So you can see that the actual yield token price has been going down quite a lot. And so, for example, if you're at the very start when the APY for SFRAX was above 6%, what you could have done is shorted the yield and you would have done that not by buying the yield token, but by buying the principal token. 
And so you can see that over here, the principal token has gone up over time. And that's a, a nice strategy that you could have done um, at the very start um, when, when, when this launched, of course. So that's pretty much how it works. Um, there are lots of markets available, as you can see here. There's SFRAX, SDI, there's FUSDC from Flux. Um, there's lots of uh, ETH LSDs here as well. Um, you can you can do this on uh, ETH mainnet. Of course, ETH mainnet it can be a little bit expensive these days, especially with the with the increased network activity, and therefore uh, sometimes you could find better rates on, on Arbitrum or, or, or cheaper gas fees anyway on Arbitrum. And so, for example, if you wanted to let's say speculate on uh, this market, let's take let's take uh, wrapped STETH from Lido, and you know you you can see here. Let's have a look. What what is the implied APY? Let's go back to it here. So the implied APY is three point six percent, but the actual actual underlying APY is 3.855%. So the question is here, do you think the yield is going to go up or down? And if you think the yield is going to go up, then you can long the yield token. If you think the yield is going to go down, you can um, uh, buy the buy the principal token. So essentially, there's something for you to do in, in either way. Now, of course, there are lots of factors that uh, do contribute towards the ETH staking yield, things like MEV and things like that. Um, but also innovations at the protocol level as well, for example, kind of what Frax did with um, SFRAX ETH. So there are lots of things that you can think about uh, when it comes to whether or not the yield is going to increase or not, market conditions, macro conditions. You know, of course, as we just discussed before with the um, UST bill assets, you know, for example, if um, if for some reason interest rates go all the way back down to 1%, then clearly it's going to be very unlikely that uh, SDI is going to be able to sustain that and therefore you might want to short uh, the yield there and you could do that by buying the, the fixed APY principal token to lock in that fixed interest rate. Whereas if you think the rates are going to keep going up, you think uh, Powell's just going to keep uh, hiking up those rates, then what you can do is you can buy the yield token, you can long it because, you know, if you think that the yield or, or the, the the rates are going to go up to six, seven, eight, nine percent, well, again, you're going to make a lot more money uh, with that 50x leverage that you're basically able to get uh, with buying the yield token. And again, I'm going to demonstrate it to you. Look, one die will give you the same power as Let's have a look. 65 yield tokens. So you're basically 65 xing your uh, income there, uh, and 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 that can give you you know lots of power, especially if the yields go up. Uh, the easiest way to think about how much money you can you know possibly make from this is let's say let's say the yield was four percent, and it's going to go up to five percent. It doesn't sound like a lot, but actually that is a 25% increase. And so therefore um, you're able to use that leverage to your advantage if that is the case. So, you know, a one or 2% increase in, in the kind of yields here can actually result in quite a massive increase in your total profit. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. Um, it's very simple. You just basically have to buy these tokens and so you can use this uh, swap mechanism on the Pendle website. Um, these tokens are tradable, so you can actually just go to any uh, decentralized exchange as long as there's liquidity. I like to use um, aggregators and so most of the liquidity is actually on Pendle itself. Um, and uh, yeah, it's very simple. You just basically click approve, swap, and uh, just hold on to the token. Um, of course, you need to remember that all of these markets do have maturities. So uh, have a look at them. Some of them will be shorter than others, um, but that's pretty much how things work. So yeah, I just wanted to show you the power of yield trading today. Um, let me know if you have any questions about it. I'll, I'll happily make some more content or show you in a lot more detail if you guys are interested. Um, I just wanted to show you a little bit about how it works and why I think it's so interesting. So smash the like button, uh, give this a retweet if you're watching on Twitter, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel uh, and we'll be back with plenty more content in the near future.